Монгол малчин айл өргөн маань гэрийн тэргүү Батэрдэн гэдэг Монгол малчин айл өргөд хөрөлцөө орж ирсэн байна. Гэрийн эзэн Батэрдэн их нэр баярма охин сувдаа. Right now we're visiting a family of Батэрдэн who is the homeowner and it's his wife Баярма. Баярма. And they're going to welcome us for a visit in Mongolia and they're going to offer us a milk tea and a dairy products in order to in order to welcome our welcome us. Тэгэхээр Монгол айж очлон орж ирэхэд хамгийн төрөнд яадгүй. Гэрийн эзэн хүн маань сайхан хөөрг зөрүүлэхээс явуулна. Хөөрг зөрүүлнэ гэдэг маань тухайн хүнтэй танилцах, тухайн хүнийг хөндөлт гэх. Зүүн гараараа баруун гарынхаа тухайг төшөн. The first thing that the Mongolian men homeowner does when uh, receiving guests is that they uh, offer him a tobacco bottle as you can see in his hand and they hand him the tobacco bottle. And uh, how you use a snuff bottle is that you put it like this and inside it there is a spoon. And by the spoon you take up the snuff tobacco, you put it on your palm and you sniff it. It's actually uh, not like a cocaine or like a, like a cigarette, it's more like a herbal uh, plant that is uh, added extract and it's actually uh, good for a human body. Монголын хойд хязгаарт баруун хязгаар сарлаг гэдэг мал их малдаг тийм ээ яг ийм орчин та бүг сарлагийн сүгээр сүлсэн сүүтэй цай аав гэдэг бол бас хоорхон байх нэг гэсэн. The milk tea is a Mongolian traditional tea that we are uh, using on daily basis. And how we use it is that we make the tea by the plant and we pour, put milk and we boil it together and we, uh, we uh, add salt on it. So it's uh, salty. And um, in here, the tea is more special because it's a yakin tea. <laughs> Thank you. It's a yak milk. 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 Because nowadays in the nomadic families, they have they have a solar power in which they provide themselves with the electricity, and they have a motorcycle, they have cell phones. But in uh, the family of Batir, then they live like a family from a hundred years ago. They they have no electricity. Uh, the, the furniture they are all antique, and they're just the way as it looked hundred years ago. Place to another place. The reason that they're moving all the time is that the. And the nomadic people, the reason that they're moving up at least four times a year is that the livestock, they're get, getting fed on the grass. And when they're sp staying in one place all the time, there wouldn't be enough food. So therefore, every season they have to move from one place to another place in order to uh, provide food for the livestock. And um, by the livestock, Mongolians uh, get their meal, they make their dairy products, and it's the basis of their life. And uh, it can be uh, five kilometer, ten kilometer, thirty kilometer, fifty kilometer. The here Mongol Kirm, Dogang is to the Sultan. Tom, Bagan, Un, Han, Hadak. Getting that in that day, you see it to the Hotel to that would take it. In that Dogang is to this Mongol Kirm, be your back to the Viga. Madame, <laughs> 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 <